Okay, guys, so what you're seeing here is the teardown of the Celestron SkySync GPS. And um, I'll, I'll show you a few of the uh, the parts here so you guys can see them on, on, on the video here. So so this here is the uh, the outside shell of the uh, the GPS housing. And uh, this is normally where your uh, auxiliary port is and the LED on one of the circuit boards. So this here is the housing. And uh, this side where the where you see those two uh, spots here, these are where the, the GPS signal goes. And I'll show you guys the GPS receiver uh, next. But these are, there's, a, there's two screws that go up here that lock in the GPS. And then down here, it also locks down in there. Where the GPS receiver uh, goes. Okay, so that's the outside shell there, on the, well, on the front actually. Okay, this here, uh, my hand here, is uh, the receiver, and I'll show you guys hopefully a little better, a little better quality of what it looks like here. Let me just see if I can change the uh, the gain on the camera here. You guys can actually see that a little better. There you go. So that there is the uh, the receiver, and um, basically that little silver thing. For a lot of you guys that have no idea uh, what a GPS is, uh, this thing is, is if for any of you guys that have like a familiar with wireless cards for your laptops and stuff, uh, this is basic. Basically, wireless cards they operate on a different type of frequency and uh, and protocol. Uh, this has its own type of protocol and frequency that it, it, that it actually transmits on. So anyways, this this here is uh, the receiver, and this is basically where is is listening, is getting the information from the satellites and then sending it into the controller. So this is like the main, the main part of the GPS right here. So that is what it looks like. And um, some people think there's a... Uh, a battery underneath this this uh, housing, where it's basically soldered on. There's a there's a couple of solders on the front here. Let's see if we can get these guys see the solders. So I think you guys can can, can see the solders there. there. It's soldered on right there. Uh, you'd have to actually break that off to get inside the silver housing to confirm if there's a battery or not. I really don't want to do that just yet. Uh, so maybe I'll do that another time. But there's another solder spot right there uh, at the edge of that that. Uh, chip and uh that's that's basically all to the to the gps uh receivers it's basically it for this uh, like i'll say and uh this 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 here is the top part or is what it looks like yeah uh let me just look at this real quick okay yeah so this is the top part i believe yeah that kind of looks like this is the top part so anyways to make sure i have this correct no nope, that was actually not the top part this is how all right, so this is how the, I mean, just <laughs> probably actually there was a right way you actually couldn't think of it. All right, so this is, uh, okay, actually, okay, yep, I do have it wrong now. Confirmed wrong now. All right, so like I was saying, this this housing goes into into here like that. Okay, so you, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this is how this is how it goes inside. Okay, so when you were, if you were to put this back together, that's that's how it goes like that. Right, there's two screws on the top, two screws down on the bottom, like I was showing you guys earlier. You guys can see the, the holes right there. That go, one goes down in there. There's two down there, and there's two up here on the top. Okay, so that's 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 that part of the the uh, the GPS. And uh, this is the other circuit board that um that also is uh that this is just the the circuit board. It has the LED and the uh, aux. Uh, port as well as two um, connector uh, things. So one is to connect the uh, the auxiliary cable that plugs into, uh, say your 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 mount on your telescope. So one of those aux ports controls where where it plugs in on this little. You see those little white things on the on the, on the circuit board there. There's actually two of them there. And uh, that's that's basically where they plug into, and uh, this here is the back side of the circuit board. There's no there's really nothing fancy about that on the back side there. There's a couple of uh, silver pins from when they soldered 
when they did the soldering on this thing, they're still kind of sticking out, which is kind of normal. Okay, so that's that's basically the, the that circuit board there. And um, so you got the back housing here. This is the back housing of the, uh, the, the GPS. So there's four screws that, that go on the back of the GPS right there. If you guys can see that. That's where the four four screws go back in, in, in the back of that there. And then there's this, uh, let's see, this is the, um, this here is the auxiliary cable. Uh, this plugs into one side of that circuit board I was telling you about, which is actually um, on the circuit board. The way that goes is, is there is a, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, let's see what focus to come up there. Um, I had the thing facing the wrong way. Okay, so you see that J1 cable? That is where the auxiliary cable goes, okay? I get this other one over here. And this one here, which is J2 GPS, is basically where the GPS receiver connects to. And uh, that's that's basically all to this uh, GPS when, you, when, when it boils down to it. I'll, uh, I'm not going to put it all back together, but I'll show you how this hooks in. So this here is your auxiliary cable. This is a cable that would plug into your mount or your hand controller for your telescope mount. And then this cable just basically plugs into, actually got this face the wrong way. Yep, I got this face the wrong way. So this one plugs into here like that there, and you have to snap these down like that. So you can clearly see now that that's, that's how it goes into this one. This is the, uh, this is the uh, the J. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably a waste of time trying to show this stuff. But anyways, you get the point. That's where that one goes. Okay. And uh, the other one is the uh, the GPS receiver, which is this thing here. Okay. Let's place go this and this this little cable here. Okay. Goes into where it says uh, J2 GPS. So you just simply plug that cable. Uh, into those pins that you see on there. If I can get this just right. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's really all to it. Once you've once you've done that, I mean, it's just a matter of uh, screwing this back onto back onto the housing, and uh, that's that's all to this uh, GPS. If you guys were were curious to know what what the GPS looks like, if you were to take it apart, that that is really the simplicity of of this. GPS when you when it boils down to like the parts and stuff, which is why I'm gonna leave you with this this feedback, okay, about this GPS, okay. So unless there is a problem, okay, with say the the GPS receiver, then then it's a possibility that's the reason why people are maybe having problems with the GPS, not uh, getting the correct information and stuff like that. It could be that these, the GPS uh, is 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 wrong or something. I don't know. There, there, there's something with this uh, antenna, and I don't understand this a whole lot, but chances are it, it could magically be uh, defective in a way or just... just not right or some way. My other thought about this is, and and some of the people, one of the persons I talked to at Celeste Run feels that it's not true, and all the all the GPS does is is get the information and put it in the controller. That is true, okay. But if the firmware in the controller is wrong, then chances are the GPS may be sending the correct information. However, the way that the controller is processing that information could be wrong. There's been confirmation by Celestron that they found a problem with this thing not working correctly with AVX mounts. So that is where I'll leave you at, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you out.